In today's Eye on Health, the price of insulin has skyrocketed over the last few years, but a new effort is looking to dramatically lower the out-of-pocket costs for the life-saving medicine. We're joined today by Sarah Marche, Senior Vice President of Pharmacy Services for Highmark. And Sarah, this sounds like a scary situation for so many people who are looking at the costs. What are you hearing from patients? What are they saying? Yeah, with the rising cost of um, prescription drugs is a concern for many patients these days. And as an insurer, an insurer, we hear about that often just because, you know, affordability is one of the major concerns we have. And we want people to take their medica medications as prescribed. So, you know, the cost of insulin is one of those categories that we continue to see increase in price and substantially increase in price to the point where we have reports from patients and we know that there's a lot of reports out there about patients actually cutting back on their mm. insulin doses, which is really scary when you think about the treatment of diabetes. Yeah, or skipping them all together sometimes, and that's certainly frightening. So what yeah. is Highmark doing? You guys are working with others to really try to find a solution to this. What can you tell us? Yeah, you know, um, Highmark took part in with a, several other blues blues plans to participate in the formation of a nonprofit generic drug manufacturer. This happened a couple of years ago, and really that was done to address one of the many pain points we see in the pharmacy industry, but specifically around the high cost of some generic medications. And just recently, we announced our um, involvement to commit to Civica manufacturing low-cost insulin, since we know this is such a pain point for many of our patients across our, our markets that we serve. So Highmark is participating in Civica, which will be producing um, three insulin products uh, available to our members, you know, uninsured and insured. And we're talking about very affordable rates for this, correct? Yes, the, the goal is that they would, we would be able to release this uh, for about $30 per vial or about $55 for a cartridge of five pens. Which is gonna make a huge difference for so many people. Now, you're talking about three different types of insulin. How soon could we actually see this manufactured and, and begin helping people? Yeah, we're looking at um, availability in 2024. So while it is a little bit of ways off, uh, there's a lot of uh, work that has to happen and make these drugs available. So we're, but we're looking in 2024 for initial launch. Can you talk to us about this? It seems like you're hearing more and more about diabetes and that is true, right? I mean, the case numbers are going up and as a result of this, this the insulin and the price of it is a concern for more and more people, right? Yeah, we do see the prevalence of diabetes continuing to increase, and there's a lot of reasons for that, but the, the bottom line is it's also why we're seeing a lot of new drugs that are coming to market to treat diabetes. But insulin is one of those drugs that's been along for a really long time and is critical to the treatment of many patients with diabetes. So it's really important that we continue to try to make uh, insulin affordable for our members so that we can help you know, increase their health outcomes um, and, and lower co total costs at the end of the day. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us to talk about this. What is certainly really good news and welcome news for so many people who depend on the insulin. Yeah, we're, we're very excited to be part of this work. It's really important work. All right, thank you for taking time out. And remember to keep watching for our Eye on Health series right here on PTL. It happens on Wednesdays, and it's brought to you by Blue Cross Blue Shield, together with Allegheny Health Network for your health.